I'm going to tell you why cosmic voids are important and useful and interesting. Yes, they're totally empty. Not totally, totally, totally empty. There are dwarf galaxies. There's hydrogens. There's some dark matter inside of them. They're not 100% void, but they're pretty much void. I want to tell you why they're cool. Why they're useful. Cosmic voids, they're useful for a few reasons. One, cosmic voids evolved with the rest of the cosmic web. In order to build a cosmic web, you need galaxies to flow onto structures. They need to flow away from the voids and onto these high-density regions like clusters and walls and filaments. So if you to grow a cosmic web, you also need to grow voids. But there's one key difference between life inside of a high-density region and life inside of a low-density region. That difference is how interesting your life is. The high density regions, like the clusters and filaments, these are like the cities, the bustling metropolises, like New York or Paris or LA or London, you know, Shanghai. It's like a major city. While the voids are like the Midwest, lots of corn, lots of cornfields, not much to do, not much to look at. So you might think, you might be tempted to think, if you want to learn about the universe, you'd prefer to go to the cities because look at how rich and full of information they are. But you would be mistaken because the cities are too complex sometimes. Like if you're trying to understand cosmology, if you're trying to understand the growth and evolution of the universe itself, you don't care about things like magnetic fields or cosmic rays or supernova or magnetic you just, you just don't care because all that's astrophysics i mean that's interesting stuff don't get me wrong fun 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 stuff made a whole youtube series out of that stuff but it's not cosmology you know the, the amount of cosmic rays inside of a galaxy that's not going to tell you anything about the age of the universe number of supernova that go off in a galaxy that's not going to be connected to dark energy it's too far removed. There's been too much physics happening inside of a galaxy, for example, that have erased like its, its memory of the early universe. It doesn't remember what it was like 13 billion years ago because it's changed so much. But in the voids, nothing much has changed, has it? Because there's nothing to do. Yes, it's all cornfields, but it's always been cornfields. So by studying the cornfields you actually get a peek into the early universe because the voids haven't changed much. In 13 billion years, they haven't changed much. They haven't evolved much. They're not so different. There's not so many astrophysics inside of a void as there is inside of a galaxy or a cluster. So you're closer to the original state of the universe as it was 13 billion years ago not as after it's been evolved and processed and churned through by you know stars and nebulas and all that other messy stuff that's pretty useful here's another useful thing voids are empty mostly empty which means they're full of dark energy they're full of dark energy as far as we understand dark energy which isn't very far at all it's a property of space-time itself. Like if you have a box of pure vacuum, you really have a box of dark energy. Now, that means there's dark energy in this room right now. But it doesn't affect anything because dark energy is very, very weak. It's easy to overwhelm it. Like, you know, just like the, the chemistry and biology and electromagnetic force and gravity are all stronger than dark energy, way, way stronger here in this room. So dark energy doesn't affect the evolution of this room. It's dominated by other kinds of physics. Dark energy doesn't affect the evolution of a galaxy directly because there's so much other stuff going on. But inside a void where there's not a lot going on, it's almost 100% dark energy. Almost all dark energy. The expansion of our universe is accelerating. This is what we call dark energy, that accelerated expansion is happening inside the voids because that's the only place where dark energy can, can reveal its true character. It's not mass. It's not hidden. It's not stuffed down. Dark energy gets to does it, do its thing inside of a void. 
And so the voids are literally pushing on the cosmic web. At the same time, galaxies are being drawn gravitationally into these filaments and walls and clusters to form the cosmic web. They're being pushed by the voids, by the dark energy inside the voids. So if you're interested in dark energy and a lot of scientists are, you have to look where the matter isn't. You have to look inside the voids. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go to patreon.com slash pmstutter. There's a link somewhere floating around my face right now. And you can keep this show going. And I will see you next time.